Welcome back to Honda 5 Sports Live, everyone. I'm Jason Pugh. Special guest in studio tonight, Dusty May, head basketball coach for Florida Atlantic University. Uh, coach, right off the bat, 2002, that was the last time the Owls basketball program made the NCAA tournament. I was in college back then, a sophomore. How do you get this basketball program turned around and get them back in the tournament on a regular basis? Recruiting and player development. We need to develop a culture and, and really start with this year's class of, of putting together a solid foundation of guys who are competitive, want to improve, and then, and then add those to the guys we already have on the roster and, and just look to get a little bit better every day. You talked about recruiting. You just mentioned recruiting. Uh, we all know how important that is at the college level. Talk about this area, Palm Beach County, Treasure Coast. Can you be successful in Conference USA recruiting this area for basketball? Without a doubt. There's high-level high school players. There's high-level junior college players. And then sometimes when these guys leave and go play at the BCS, the Power Five level, getting those guys who want to transfer to come back home and, and, and see where their families can see them play. So. Now, you spent some time in Conference USA, UAB, uh, Louisiana Tech as an assistant coach. How do you feel like those uh, opportunities have groomed you for this position as head coach at FAU? To understand how high of a ta uh, how talented of a player you need to have at this level, and then also just the logistics of the league, being able to go on the road and play a game on Thursday, and then travel on Friday, and then play again on Saturday. Just it's a tough, spread out league that you have to have guys who who love the game and, and are mentally. Uh, able to fight through those, those tough challenges. Now, your last job is the University of Florida. Uh, we all know the Gators usually have a very good football team and a very good men's basketball team. How important is that to develop down here in Boca Raton? We know Coach Kiffin got things going on the football team last year in his first season. To have your two major sports really clicking, how important is that for a for university? Very important, and we'll try to piggyback off the success of the football program and, and the, the notoriety they brought to the university as a whole, and then, and then we'll, we'll use their football weekends uh, their football games and our recruiting weekends, which will help the, the environment as well. Now, uh, the big national championship game in uh, college basketball tomorrow night, Villanova taking on Michigan. Uh, first off, are you surprised that these two teams are in the national title game, uh, seeing how they recruit? They don't have recruit the one and done players. Mm -hmm. It's players that are going to be there two, three, four, five years and develop over the course of time. Each team has several red shirts and they stay old. When At the high major level, we talked about at Florida a lot, that we wanted to try to get old and stay old. Both of these teams have done that and they're both versatile, uh, tough, elite defensive teams that can shoot the ball as well. So it'll be an exciting game. Both teams uh, are not surprised at all that they're here. Do you think some of these other Power 5 schools, whether it be Duke or Kentucky, do you think they'll go back to maybe recruiting guys that you do have to develop? I don't think so. I think they're going to continue to, to try to get the best players they possibly can and, and hopefully uh, in their case some of those guys that may not be lottery picks stick around for a couple years where those guys have, have left early even though they weren't drafted high. And who do you have winning this game between the Wolverines and the Wildcats tomorrow night and why? Got to go with Villanova. I just think they shoot it and they're, uh, they shoot at all five positions and they're just, they have matchup problems. They have great, great point guard in Brunson and, and just guys that can, that can stretch the floor, shoot from deep. And Jay Wright, I mean, if he wins his second national championship, he has to be considered the best coach of college basketball, right? Without a doubt, he, he's on the, the current Mount Rushmore of college <laughs> basketball coaches. Coach Dusty May, thank you yeah. so much for joining the program. We really appreciate it.